Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today we are going to do my December 2020 burn basket. As you guys know, I like to pick out six candles every month to share with you guys. And I'm looking here and it looks like I picked out only five. So it looks like I'm slacking a little bit. I did pick up five candles that I want to use for the month. And then I went ahead and I picked out six wax melts I wanted to use. Now one was a rollover from last month, so it is not new, whereas five are new and different. So let's jump in and get started and see what I am shooting to use up for the month of December. So there is a lot of Goose Creek here. I went Goose Creek heavy. I don't really have any Aldi winter scents. So I mainly have Bath and Body Works and Goose Creek. So the first one I have here is Cookies and Milk, which is obviously Santa Claus theme. It is December, very, very close to Christmas now. Let me go ahead and pop the lid off and give that a smell before we discuss what other candles I have here. Ooh, I really like that. Okay, so... With cookies and milk, I feel like I get a very heavy brown sugar and butter smell. So like when you are making chocolate chip cookies, the dry ingredients like the brown sugar, you add in the butter, that's the smell I get. I don't get any chocolate chips in there. They do show a photo of chocolate chip cookies. Definitely no chocolate chips, brown sugar and butter all the way on that one. This is going to be like the first one that I end up lighting up today because I actually had it over here on my little Lazy Susan. Sorry, my daughter does have her schoolwork over there. I have an extension cord in here because I was packing meat with a vacuum sealer, but that candle goes right here in my dining room. So let's go ahead and get back to the candles. The next one I have here is another Goose Creek winter one, and this is Teakwood and Merlot. Originally, when I smelled this, it smelled very similar to Bath & Body Works Mahogany Teakwood. I do feel it's a little more subdued. It's not nearly as intense. I definitely think that I'm going to burn that one in my bedroom. I think that it would be a really good bedroom scent. Another Goose Creek here. This one is eggnog icing. So once again, very Christmas themed with the whole eggnog bit. Let me go ahead and give this a quick smell. Ooh, so this one smells a little bit vanilla-y, but it has a really good balance of cinnamon, like a cinnamon vanilla scent. I definitely don't think that it smells really like eggnog, but hey, I'm down for cinnamon vanilla. I'm usually not too much of a vanilla fan. It definitely has to be mixed with something for me to really enjoy it. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoot that one back and we're gonna move on to a Bath and Body Works candle. So this is Bath and Body Works Mint Mocha Bark. And oh, this is heavenly. If you have ever had a Andy's Chocolate Mint, those little like chocolate mints that have the mint sandwich in between the dark chocolate. That's what this candle reminds me of. So the scent description on this one is, wrap this delectable medley of creamy smooth mocha, vanilla and icy mint in a bow and give it to your nearest and dearest. So definitely strongly look forward to burning this one. I really wish I had some tarts that would mesh well with this. Sadly, I don't have too many Christmas tarts. I don't even know if I have any Christmas smelling tarts or wax melts, whatever you want to call them. So the fifth candle I want to use up, let me go ahead and shift my melts over just a little bit is a classic here. This is Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. I love winter candy apple. I actually have the body care in my bathtub right now because it's December and I just had to use it. So this one is a mouth-watering blend of crisp apple, candied orange, and rich cinnamon spice. So this is a really sweet, almost girly, feminine apple smell as you can tell look how old that jar is i think that i've probably had this candle for 10 years 
That's scary to think about. It, it moved with me from my old house to this house, and we're already contemplating buying another house. So it's been with me for a long time. So time to use that one up. I do have some with newer labels, but that is one of my older ones. So let's go ahead and get into melts really quick. So I have here salted caramel butter cream from Sensationals, and this definitely reminds me of another Sensationals melt for some reason. It's giving me apple vibes, even though there is no apple mentioned in it. Now this is a partial bar because I started melting it yesterday because it's already December, and I'm not getting this video up until at least December 5th or 6th. Today's the 5th that I'm recording. So I did break into this a little bit early. I also have here a partial, which is a rollover from last month. This one I did not finish. This is Scentsy Honeymoon Hideaway. This is like a nice tropical feminine perfumey fragrance. Like if they made this in a body care, I would absolutely buy this and wear it because it is so nice smelling. I have here a Goose Creek in Warm and Welcome. I like Goose Creek melts, but the sad thing is, is as of recently, since the pandemic, they have not been running any good melt sales. They did do one for Black Friday, but I went ahead and skipped out. That way I could focus on using what I have. Here is a Yankee Melt Cup in Summer Daydream. This is going to be a bedroom scent. I love the girly feminine scents in the bedroom. This is super heavy on the floral notes. I know that I'm definitely going to love this in the bedroom. Two more Scentsy Bars that I want to use up. This one is Buckleberry. I figured Buckleberry would be kind of fun and exciting for winter, especially now that it is December. So a good berry set in there. And I might end up melting that and seeing how it does with winter candy apple. Once again, that's a partial bar too because it is almost the first week of December is almost over. So I wanted to go ahead and get a little bit of a head start on some of these bars. That way I would definitely get through them. I definitely plan to use more. If you guys watch my videos on the regular you guys know that I get through way more than six bars. I usually get through maybe 10, sometimes 12. And candles, I definitely get through more than six. I usually get through 12 to 14. Last month was an astronomical month where I did manage to go through 19 candles. So the last bar I want to use up is Huckleberry Wreath. I do believe this was from the Christmas collection last year with Scentsy. So I figured that one would be a good one to throw in with this bunch to use up. So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I hope you guys like my burn pile or burn basket for the month of December. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye everyone.